Hi Jesse, this is Amy from Build Up Digital Marketing. I spoke with one of your employees this morning and he told me to send you that video of a quick analysis of your website and give you tips and tricks to improve it. So here we go. We are here on your website and I can see here a call to action right there. That is great. You've got another one right here. That's awesome. Another one here. We've got some pictures here and let's see how those have been saved. And as you can see, commercial it, there's commercial painting, but there's also a bunch of numbers here. So that's something that you could that could be improved by putting your company name and the location where that job or a job was done. It would help your ranking. I don't see that many keywords so far so that's one thing that could be improved and they're not linked they're not highlighted google likes to see them highlighted it makes it easier for them and it makes it easier to rank you up with it so it's always a good thing we gotta follow google google decides so here that's a really good thing that you have listed every single one of the cities where you provide your service because then it helps again it helps you rank for those can see here google likes to see on the home page an upward of 1500 words so that's also another thing that could be improved and within 1500 words it makes it easier to put those keywords in here you got a contact form which is great you gotta get in touch uh, the email and phone call uh, i would probably list again where you provide your services here in every single city the more the more more you're gonna be ranking for those right so next up i want to show you on google i did a simple search painting vancouver and as you probably already know this first section is paid advertisement and it does exactly that it's paid advertisement it's worth it however some people don't like clicking on those one those paid advertisements so those people most likely end up in that second section here which is the google map pack and in the map pack usually there's only three companies that will appear this one has four but uh, so the goal is obviously to be ranking in those and that is organically so you want to be ranking in those because obviously as you probably know most people won't bother clicking more businesses to find your business if it's any further than than that basically then we get into the the organic section so here we've got organic companies that companies that are ranking organically and we also get uh, directories such as yelp right here so that's how this is so i took uh, dunbar painting which is the first one right here and i'm using it as your competitor in vancouver so here on on his website so you see call to action right there and they have not much going on don't see any keywords uh let's see picture and again it's not saved with anything more than numbers so it's not meaning it's not helping them rank so we'll see why they're ranking first position we're gonna get to that so not much keywords none of them are highlighted and there's no they're not listing all the service uh all the areas they're servicing so we're gonna jump into rf which is a tool i uh, use to find more metrics about your websites so this is done done for dunbar painting right now just to be able to compare with your site so first metric I will point out to is the DR and the DR is basically the power that Google gives to your website. And it's really important to consider that and to get it higher, you need it's it's taking into account backlinks, referring domains, organic keywords and all of those. So backlinks are basically links from another website pointing at yours or in this case at Dunbar Painting your competitor 
And then referring domain are like citations whenever you've got a name, phone number, and address listed anywhere, just like in directories. And following, you've got the organic keywords. They have 1,200 keywords. So let's go and look what they have for keywords. First one I see is solid stain versus paint. And there's a volume. Let me just put that in Canada. Okay. So in Canada, that you've got 500 searches for solid stain versus paint per month. And that makes them rank fourth for that specific keyword that is it still brought them 31 people to their website this one has a cost per click so it's a dollar 35 per click but it's also as you might or might not know keywords just like backlinks and referring domains are not all created equal you want to be looking for good referring referral basically and not go for the spammy ones because google does not like those so uh, the, for those keywords here uh solid stain versus paint to me sounds a bit more like a diy project kind of thing so i don't think it's necessarily the best keyword yes they're ranking for that but again what is solid stain they're working first for that but is that a buyer intent keyword? Are those people typing that wanting their service? Not too sure about that. You see Painter Vancouver, that would be one keyword that would be buyer intent. And as you see, there's more difficulty on it, less volume, more difficulty, but it still brought nine people. The difference is those people are probably more willing to spend money on the service because that's what they're looking for so now let's jump over to yours as you can see your dr is at zero right now you've got 10 backlinks for referring domain and zero keywords so right away you can see what could be improved with yours you need keywords you need to be ranking for those keywords you need referring domains so citations and blogs anything that where you could mention but again not just anything the good ones that could help grow your dr at the same time and backlinks again that would be a way to go to increase traffic to your website so i hope this was uh, helpful to you and I would appreciate if you could leave me a line of feedback so that way I can also improve myself in any case I will follow up with you in a day or two thank you so much for watching and I will wish you a wonderful day thank you